Here we go, Paper Mario, baby, we're going back in. Again. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I've spent... I've spent like a fourth of the time on this file getting ready for challenge runs. Wow. Fun stuff, man. Fun stuff. Uh. Anyway, we hopped off the train. Uh. Let's see. I'm screamy. I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. For I must deliver something. Uh, okay. Okay. That's... A little worried for you, bro. That's that's a little ominous, but whatever. Well, guess what I found in rapturous ruins, bro? Yup, a marvelous compass piece. This part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. It was pretty bizarre, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. Yeah... I do. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. After journeying deep into the Crimble Forest, I found the do the d the dome. The I I found the shrine of the Silver Monkey. I found the domed rapturous ruins. What's inside? Go down the stairs and through the temple gate. Um. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry and that he'd wake for a child of fate. That didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> so I started searching quietly for the compass piece. But then it happened, bro. I got a tiny tickle in my nose and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it because he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled, and all of a sudden I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of an ancient race, the Luffs. He had been there guarding the marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. He told me that the compass is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luff Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the compass and their empire collapsed. To prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven parts. He had six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero woke him. I was that hero, bro. He gave it to me, and then he and the ruins vanished. When I added that piece to the compass, it pointed to the far north, far north, where dreaded Hate Song Tower stands. This time, I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than ever before. Luigi, what the fuck are you doing? Get the hell out of here, you crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> I will rescue the princess. I will be super, and then I'll... 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 I'll figure the rest out later. Anyway, I headed back here to Rogueport after that. Making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro, but that's what I've been up to anyway. Okay, no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm good, Luigi. I don't... You're the only one who hasn't seemed to hate him, but I, I don't... I love Luigi. No, no, like, all of his partners hate him. All of his partners are like, this guy wrecked my car, or, um, this guy needs to pay me, or something or other. And this guy's like, I, I need to follow this guy to, for, a me for a message. I need to send a message. Play Burnout 2 or <laughs> what what play Burnout Revenge for the PS2. <laughs> Fucking so good, dude. Oh my god. Alright. Um so we gotta get uh the 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 map. <laughs> we we gotta get some diet soda. Uh, let's see. I don't... I don't see it, actually. Uh, 
Oh, good. Good, good. Yeah, I'll buy Super Luigi, too. I'm a cool guy like that. I gotta support this for my bro. Hopefully, he's the one authoring those books. Alright. Now I can do this. Oh, baby. Yeah. You got an ultra hammer. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to see you again. Way to find the ultra hammer. Now your hammer will have even more attack power. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's just like with the super hammer, so no problem. Hold down B and rotate L until your body gets twisty. And release B to use your ultra hammer. Remember to twist a lot before releasing B, okay? Yeah, I've, I've done this before, dude. What? This is just... That's just Super Hammer. Way to go. You got it. Are you clear on the controls? Yeah, I... I, I think I've done it before. <laughs> Alright, you've mastered the Ultra Hammer. Using your Ultra Hammer, you can even break blocks made out of stuff like this. Swing it like normal to break smaller stuff, but use the method I taught you to break bigger things, okay? And you can use the Ultra Hammer in battle, too. Um, this is kinda sad. This is the last time I'll get to see you, Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And, and be careful on your quest, okay? That's... That's devastating. Ah. Oh. Dude, poor Toadette. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely saving that. Ah. All right, well now I can break more blocks. Oh yeah, dang it! I was supposed to go to Glitzville. It's not gonna help me that much, but just for completionist's sake, I'm gonna take a short detour to Glitzville. Um, and we could probably just head there through this warp pipe. Just a short, short little, uh, Glitzville jaunt where this is it. Yes. Chapter three. Herder. All right, cool. I've also always wanted to do this glitch, but I don't... I don't know if it works here. How do you do it? I don't understand. Maybe this glitch... Well, it's not as easy as I thought. Also, I'm a goofball. I didn't even need the ultra jump for that. I just uh, forgot there was a hidden block down there. So... Yep. Oh well. Sometimes that's just how it goes. All right. Come back here and there's a block over here I can break now. Excellent. Another shine sprite maybe? No, FP plus, okay. Sure. I'll take an FP plus badge, why not? Um. I forget what else is break. I, oh, I think it's on the other side of um, of this door. There's a tough block in the sewers. Um, whoa, motherfucker! <laughs> 
Okay, the sewers got fucking crazy. Sure. Sure, dude. You can barely get out of here. I, 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 need, I need the stat page, pretty please. Thank you. That's Koopa Patrol. Koopa Patrol who protects himself with spiked armor. Max HP is 6, attacks 4, and defense is 2. It attacks with its shell and with its head, then sometimes charges up for a fierce move. Plus, if you take too long to win, it'll call reinforcements. Yeah, sort of gnarly, huh? It's one of the worst of Bowser's guys. Koopa Troopas dream of being Koopa Trolls. Hey, and by the way, what do you think Bowser's doing now, anyway? Eating? <laughs> Dude, Bowser's eating good. Alright. Show me what you got. That... <laughs> That was, uh, that wasn't what I was expecting, but, uh, yeah, I'll catch you later, dog. Mad preach on that. Alright. Um, was there not one here? I guess not. But there is boat panel that I haven't done yet. So I forgot it existed. I love how it even shows uh, your costume on all the paper ones. It's so nice. Little boat adventure, little boat journey. I wish I knew how to do that that glitch. Not that it like matters at all ever for anything. Um but uh but it's called Bro, they're dancing. We got a dance team over here. This is sick. Look at them. Look at them go. Oh my god. Ahoy, Gala. You got here just in time for the dance squad, man. Look at them. They're all synchronized. They're going crazy over here. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. All right. I guess I got to break it up. Or do I? Oh, yep, I do. Dang. I was like, maybe they maybe they just won't look. It'll be great. Alright, you got a sheep. I don't like that. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'll just swap to coops. And we'll just throw out a power shell. Yeah, there we go. One whole star point, baby. Oh, yeah. I probably don't have any BP left right now, but... Oh, I forgot I have first attack on. So if anything wouldn't give me any XP, it just... I, it just dies. Oh! Don't they have two defense? Good lord. What are you? Um. That's Spunia. Its body's made up of springy discs. Two defense, seven attack, and 12 HP? Jeez, man. It may not look like much, but it's pretty tough. Watch out for those spikes on its head. It won't come at you with anything too weird, so just hang in there, okay? Okay, well, I want Koops up front. Um, and I'll just drop another jump on him. That takes care of the big threat, at the very least. And these guys can't hurt Koops. So, I just practice super guarding. Oh, yeah. Four for four, baby. Dang. Koops does five damage on one of those? That's wild. I'll leave the lucky day one, because... I mean, I'll probably miss. 
Not because I have a good chance of missing, but because... Oh, I missed the last one. Oh, well. Let's see. Ah, uh, yep, there it is. You jerk. So mean. I'll go ahead and do that. And then maybe I can super guard this one. Yeah, I like how it was 90% chance to hit, but still a miss. Good, just like XCOM, dude. Just like XCOM. Sweet. There's nothing under this one, right? Okay, no, I just have to do this. Dang. Got some hella shine sprites in here, man. There's nothing weird in here, though, right? This boat adventure was totally worth it. Okay. No! Wait. I didn't need to do that. Oh, come on. Here we go. We're just gonna do this. We're, we're, we're gonna do it this way. This makes more sense anyway. Alright. Dang, dude. Crazy rewards out of that. I think there's another boat spot in town that I need to go head up. I like how the boat's animation for sailing straight is like just two frames of it uh, up a little higher and down a little lower and that's it. And it does it so slowly too that it's a little jarring almost. All right. I don't remember what's down that way, but probably not too important. Eh, I'll check it out. Why not? I'm here, huh? Oh, crud. I'm not doing the pit yet. Later, though. For sure. This, that is your curse. That's the curse, dude. I have to watch the boat animation. No. Uh, truly cursed boat. Cursed paper boating. This is where I saw it done. But I just don't understand how it was done. I mean, you really gotta be... I don't understand it. It feels like that should be it. But it's not. Huh. Well, anyway. If you do it right, you can get on top of the spring without, um, triggering the jump from the spring. Um, and heck, I don't know, maybe they've patched it out by now. Maybe that's why I can't do it. But you can get on top of the spring without um, actually using the spring. Um, and then hammer the spring. So it'll do the spring animation but won't send you flying. Um, uh, oh my gosh. You know what? I was actually just in the room I needed to go into. And I might as well do that first. Oh, Autumn, these pants are not thick enough for your claws, my little guest star. Pants are not thick enough for you to be using them claws on them. 
Um, but you can hammer the spring, and then your next jump will act like you had the spring under you. Um, so it'll send you flying up in the air the next time you hit the jump button. Which, uh, which has no practical uses so far. Um, for any skips, tricks, whatever. But I thought it was fun. thought it was pretty funny. Yeah. Guest star on don't give a fuck about how thick my pants are, dude. Isn't that right? Because you're still digging your cute little paws into them. Ow. That hurts my body. Oh, hey. Well, there it is, baby. We're going to space. We're changing the title. Boom. Changing the title of the stream. Look at that. Paper Mario in space. Yeah. The last star on the map is... That ain't right. <laughs> that star... That star ain't right. Hmm. If what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is... The moon. <laughs> Full stop. Mario Paper Galaxy, dude. Yes. The moon? That's where Princess Peach is stuck. Yeah, remember? Seems suspicious, huh? Hmm. The problem here is how does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. Damn. You know what? Mad props to this guy. If I have three books, I have to look around to figure out which one it is I would need to read. And he's got a f just hundreds of them strewn about, and he's like, how to get to space, it's this one. <laughs> uh, looking into this may take a little time, so come back in a bit, all right? Okay. Later, dude. I got some boating to do anyway. Zip toad verify. He's got the verified sticker, dude. Oh gosh. Thank goodness. I would have never known if that was the real zip toad or not. All right. Boat time. Oh wait, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. I already have the thing that's over there. Probably, I think. I'm pretty sure I got that. When I, when I got my Yoshi pal. And then this is as far as I go here? Yeah. Okay. So, whatever's in this chest. Double dip badge. Neato. I don't... I'm not huge on double dip, but... Oh. It's good and certain scenarios I think it's weird that your partner can't walk forward or backward without bending to the side as if they're walking side to side yeah oh well then I'll do a partner power up Yeah. I'll do blitz. Like blitz. Yeah. He's good, and I think I really like his last ability. Um, 
Bobist is good. I like that. Were you pulling at something under there? Or were you just rearranging so you're so you're not stabbing me anymore? Thank you, Autumn. Thank you. You're a good lady. Oh, I shouldn't have pet you. Now you're stabbing me again. Dang, that was my mistake. Uh, dodgy fog, shell slam, uh, smooch to boost Mario's HP. I guess I do Koops, and then I do Miss Mouse, um, because I like Miss Mouse. Well, I do kind of like Flurry, especially her having a bigger health pool, um, because because uh, with Quick Change she can tank a lot. And that's really nice. And with that, we've got, uh, tell her she does not need ni she does not need knives to make biscuits. <laughs> yeah. Autumn, you need dough to make biscuits, not knives. <laughs> God damn it. That's so good. I hate it. Alright, um... Kiss Thief and Smooch, Rally Winks, Always Huge, Shell Slam, uh, Bobber with 40 health, damn. Yeah, Stampede, it's expensive as hell, but it's a good move. And I've got, I've got plenty of FP right now. I bet my badge setup's terrible. Ooh, ow. Mmm, Autumn. You're gonna have to chill. You're gonna have to chill out on that. Oh, gosh. Okay. I really wouldn't mind putting on, um... I mean, well... There we go, I don't have it, so I couldn't put it on anyway. Oh, Autumn. Listen. I know, I know. I know, lady, I know. But like, dog, you're, you, you gotta, you gotta work with me, man. You gotta work with me. Oh, you are really stabbing the fuck out of me. I mean, she's, she's, uh -huh. my leg's going to have so many holes in it. I guess I'll check the lottery, see if I want anything. Come on, no dice. Okay. Yay, a mushroom. I'll never recover from this financial burden. Alright, if I remember right, there was something over here that we couldn't get to before. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the hell that goes to. And then we can also... Oh, jeez, dude. Chill out. Mean-ass bitch. Get out of here. You know what? How much damage do you do now? That is not as much as I thought. Technically, he had one defense at the beginning, so it was 3 2 1 1 1, which is. Let's see. What? 7? 8? Somewhere around there. Yeah, 3 2 1 1 1 is 8. Hey, 8 damage is still pretty good, actually. I'm fine with that. Flower Saver P badge. Nice. 
Okay. No hidden ground pound blocks here. Neato. That's a hammer. <laughs> Dang, seven damage on that. I think my jump only actually does... No, it does 12. Never mind. Oh, okay. You fell. I was really on one today, guys. And then I think... I think now with Ultra Boots and Ultra Hammer, there's some stuff in the underground town I can do. That I couldn't before. Not 100% sure, but I think so. Yeah, because I could see that there's a pipe here that I can probably latch on to. If I do the command right. Yeah, okay. Drop down here and here. Aha! Another shine sprite, excellent. Do I have any more star pieces to trade you? I have eight. Um, happy flower would be kind of nice, actually, for some of the longer fights, but I don't really have a lot of longer fights. So... Never mind on that. Kind of... Absolutely buffing the heck out of my strength. Okay. Yeah, wait. Oh, there we go. Neat. Miss Mouse, help me. Which direction is it? Something right near us. There it is. Oh, hell yeah. Power plus P. Again. Well, what all do I want to take off for that bad boy? Oh, gosh. I think I might at... Yeah. Yeah, I just need to level up a bunch again because those are taking a toll on the amount of badge points I have. Oh, I can slip through there. Nice. Heck yeah. I was worried I actually wouldn't be able to. And I think that's, I think that's everything here. Still can't open that. Oh, Professor Frankly's done with his research. Get wrecked. Get struck from on high. Yeah. all the stuff that I can that I that I can remember at the very least so 
go talk to Frankly and get the scoop on how to go to the moon. Oh yeah. Moon time. Do I have three? No, I only got two shine sprites. Okay. Still need a little more to power up my last partners. Ah, excellent timing. I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that might just get you to the moon. You must go to Far Outpost. And you must use the cannon there, and it will blast you. Uh, we're using a cannon to get to the moon? Doesn't that seem... unsafe? I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. Accounts from Far Outpost speak of device that can launch anything anywhere. Even to the moon. Well, where is this Far Outpost, then? I believe there's a pipe to Far Outpost somewhere beneath Rogueport, but I'm not sure of the exact location. Yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called an Ultra Hammer to get to it. An Ultra Hammer? Didn't we get one of those already, Mario? Ah, well, I see. That certainly changes the subject now, doesn't it? Well, use that Ultra Hammer to find the pipe to Far Outpost then. Get to it. If you say so, Professor, let's find Far Outpost. Oh yes, one more thing you should be aware of. The bob who live there are sort of a surly bunch. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck, get that last crystal star. Get the fuck out of here. Go on, get. I don't want to see your face in here again. All right, frankly. Catch you later, dude. Alright, well, we know where it is. Because um, obviously it's a pipe that doesn't look like any other pipe in the game. And if it's not that pipe, um, I'll eat my shoe. I'll prepare the shoe. Yeah. Get the prep work started on the shoe. Put some seasoned salt on there. I like I like seasoned salt. Any floor panels? Nope. Okay. Well, here we go. Da 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 da. Chapter seven. Mario shoots the moon. Hell yeah. The moon's haunted. The moon's hot. Shoot it. It is stupid cold out here. Come on, Gonzalez, let's move. Far out push should be just up ahead, I think. Always hit the save block. Oh, baby, there it is. Another star piece. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I better get Goombella out if this is going to be a place with lots of new enemies. Shine Sprite. Oh, I get wrecked. Whoa! Dude, listen to this fucking jam! Oh my god, I'm turning it up for you. Oh my god. Uh, straight up, I could vibe out to that for like hours, man. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Oh wow, dude. Oh, whoops. I, I forgot. I was supposed to tattle with Goombella. 
I, I got distracted by those sick jams. Wow, this fucking rocks, dude. Oh my gosh. I just want to sit in these battles just to hear this music, man. It's so good. Come here, coin. Oh. Wow. Get the tattle on him. That's an ice puff. It's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. Max HP is 9, attacks 4, and defense is 0. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it when it's storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? I think it's worse. It'll absorb any ice attacks we throw at it. They're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that, maybe. Oh, you were going for Goombella. Crap. Wasn't ready for that one. Oh, sub to Bobbery since he has the most health. And then I'll just defend. Oh, wow, look at that. A breath attack super guard. That was sick. I mostly got lucky, but still. Uh, even the little victory music and stuff. So good. Whoa, okay, I didn't know you'd pop up on me. I figured you were gonna try and like bite me or something, but that's fine too, I guess. Back to Goombella. She's got tattling to do. That's Frost on it. It's a cool customer with strong ice powers. Max HP is 10, attacks 5, and defense is 0. Its frozen breath attack can freeze us, so try to immobilize it first. It's weak against fire attacks too, so use them as well. That said, don't even think about using ice attacks, it'll absorb them. Yep, yep, makes sense. Ouch. That's fine. Dang, dude, this place rocks. Tree, hit the tree. Jeez. All right. The tree. Ah, uh, I got caught on the tree. The tree, the revenge of the tree, dude. No. Okay. Take you out first. You're probably the biggest threat to me. Can I? Okay, yeah, Goombella does time. We're, we're good. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Nice. Ah, uh, 99, all right. Yeah, I get hammered with my pretty new hammer. Which still doesn't take you out. Jeez, dude. You guys are tough. I mean, like, not super tough since I fucking stacked a ridiculous amount of power badges on. So that I wouldn't have to spend so much time 
fighting all these things, but like, still. Badge points, 25 HP and 25 FP. We're coasting. It's all bad. It's all badge builds from here on out. Probably until I, until I panic. Um. Okay, I can slap uh, something that's three on. Um. Probably. Do I? Do I just throw power bounce on? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, I'll throw on Power Bounce. The skill I've had literally the least amount of success using. Would you... Bro, get back here already. Oh my gosh. There we go. Finally. I just wanted to take one of you out. Ugh. Keep wanting to actually chat and talk about things, and the music starts, and I'm like, there it goes. My whole train of thought. It's gone now. I hardly knew ye. Ah, oh, man, I gotta get that one right. That's so hard for me. Oh, ouch. That's the big suck. Okay. Hold up. We're gonna try. We're we're. Get him! Oh yeah! Sick. Oh, it's too bad. I'm still frozen and going to take a lot of damage from this. Ow. Oh, okay. Maybe if we could all just fucking chill out. Oh, come on. No, dude. No! No, dude. Not again. Alright. Well, honestly... That's still a crazy amount of HP for star points that I'll gain back pretty quick from all the stylish moves anyways. Get him, Coops. Yeah. Oh, another HP plus P. I do like those. Even though most of the time I forget to put my partners in the front, which is the most important. Ah, oh, yeah. Excellent. Which is like the most important part about using that badge to let your partners tank for you. But, you know. Ooh. Oh, you didn't have to start this up again, Autumn. Ow. So far outpost, huh? I wonder if the, the moon is... Shit. Well, let's get started by talking to the villagers. Welcome to far outpost. Whoa, that's quite a good lip warmer you got. Okay, I now give you my special mustache viewing personality analysis, yes? Ah, hmm, yes, yes, hmm, yes. Yes, I have got it now. Your bushy brow means that you are stubborn and selfish man. How did I know? I have certain experience with mustaches like that, you see. Uh... Well, I'm glad you've got experience with that. This is Baba Village, da Bluey. There is nothing here, da Blamo. As you can guess from my kablammy reserved demeanor, many Baboms only open up to other Baboms. Hello, traveler. First time in Far Outpost, Kabooey. 
What? Far Outpost Cannon? Wah. I apologize for that. No, I just had distraction. It is nothing, Kapowie. <laughs> They're even here too and they're freezing. We are the chilly wanderers, the travel like sisters three. We came to Far Outpost for the skiing and ice skating, but there's nothing here. It's cold. It's too cold. I told you we should have at least checked a guidebook before we came here. I think she was on to something with that guidebook. Star piece? Oh, there it is. How about you? You got anything? Snow is rare for you, Bacock. In Far Outpost, it falls all year around, ba bang. I like watching it shine in glow of sunset. Ba boomer. The ba boomer. Alright, well, you've been a lot of help, thanks. Let's try this part. I make big snow bob today. Maybe I am big as him someday. Papali. But I do not want the melting to happen to me, Papoo. Aw. Make body and mind better? Yes, welcome to inn. Stay one stay of one night is only fifteen coins. You like rest? Nope, leaving. Come back again, yes. That's cute. She even knits things. Ah, Monsieur de la Mustache. I have tried too many times to talk to the girl in the inn, and she kicked me out, saying croyable. So now I must use the heat of my feelings for her to melt the snow. <laughs> Damn, you can buy shooting stars here? That's fucking cracked. Well, I guess you're late enough in the game that they're not... It's not exactly crazy. Damn, I'm full up. Might as well sell this mushroom. And maybe some other stuff. Get a cell. Yep. I give thanks to you. Well, that's right. Speaking of money... I know nothing, Shabui. I know nothing about local canon leveling, lovingly nicknamed Big Bob Shashum. I am sure you don't. Especially not since you're standing by it or a statue of it at the very least. Uh, you know what? We're in Far Outpost. Yeah. That's the real way to get the Shine Sprite. Looking out over the void. Oh, star piece, sweet. Okay. Nothing else in there, though. Which is weird. Looking at night sky makes me feel vastness of space. Lots of space, ba-boom. It is so peaceful, wa-boom. Far outpost is nice, restful place, wa -ploom. What you got, old man? Yes, what business do you have here? What? A cannon. No such thing is here. Now listen here, you're the mayor, hmm? Not gonna an official like you lie that way. Oh boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here, so do not lie, sir. Shush, you call yourself a bomb mom? I spit at you. You know rules, there is to be no mention of cannon to non bomb bombs. No mention. We must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course I know all that, you great blowhard. But we must use that cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Hmm, ha, huh, world could end. Um, well, we cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances. 
We must have permission of Gold Bob to use cannon. He is the one who started whole blasting things to faraway places policy. Once he got rich, he let business slide and does not start it up again. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to operation of cannon, but he was so depressed by losing of job that he took cannon key and ran off to some settlement far, far away. Gold Bob and General White. Yes, that is correct. If you want to use cannon, you must find Gold Bob and General White. Very well then. We can't give up now, old boy. Mario, the search is on. Let's go find those two bob -ombs. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. Oh, man. Rough. Alright. But I guess this does give me a good opportunity to go back to Rogueport and get my money from that guy that I invested 300 coins in. Ah, oh, not you fuckers again, dude. Haha, -ha, eat dirt. Hmm. Ah, oh, man. It's so hard to get that fourth one. And I'm goofy because I didn't put Bobbery in the front again. Dang it. Ah. Ah. Dang. Um, is there... Ooh, ow. Mm, autumn. Oh, okay. I get it, lady. I get it. Finally got one. Finally got a super guard off. Um, sweet treat. And then I'll use Vivian to finish it off, because... The sweet treat's basically free. Oh my gosh. I gotta get better at this. I mean, at least I got some FP. And 5 HP is not bad. Little known fact about Vivian, um, her attack deals the same amount of damage, uh, whether you time it right or not. Um, man. Ah. These fucking guys. Oh, you've got an ice storm, I see. Partner up front. Jacob, do the right thing. Alright. Not that it matters for this fight, because I won't take any damage. Yeah, the only thing doing the action command correctly does uh, is add the burn status effect. Which, the burn status effect is still very nice, but not entirely necessary. I don't, I don't like you piranha plant. Piranha plants are mean as fuck. I didn't put Goombella up front again, but that's okay because these guys can kind of fit anyone. Nice, nice.
Haha. <laughs> Get wrecked. It is a little unfortunate how a lot of the single attack um, partners kind of get left by the wayside because of just how the damage calculates into their moves. Because like, if I equip one power plus, Koops gets one more damage, but Goombella gets two more damage. like. Not that that's the only thing that matters. Um, because, like, Koops has a lot more utility and stuff, but if you're just trying to pump out a bunch of raw damage, then. kinda sucks. Yeah! Been used to it a little bit. It's gonna be Swiss cheese, lady. You are killing me on this one, man. Oh. I also didn't realize that you can, um, when, so when the audience throws things at you, uh, which just has a chance to happen sometimes, but you can make it have better or even guaranteed chances to throw things at you. Um, so if there is a hammer bro in the audience and you miss a hammer action command, they will guaranteed every time throw a, ha throw a hammer at you as if to say, hey, asshole, this is how you use a hammer. <laughs> And then beat the fuck out of you with it. Um, and if you let it hit you instead of guarding or anything like that, uh, every enemy apparently has a specific animation to laugh at you for getting hit by something thrown by the for getting heckled by the audience. Um, and I thought that was super funny and, and such a unique little interaction for all of them to like laugh. Some of them like cover their mouth because they don't want you to know they're laughing at you. Ah, Mario, it's me, Lumpy. Don't you remember? I went to dry dry desert to drill for oil. Ring a bell? I. I. I did it. I totally struck oil. There were times that I was covered in dust, weak and ready to give up, but, but, but I never lost sight of the dream, and one day, I finally seized it. And you believed in me all this time, Mario, you sure did. Thank you so much. I want to return your loan with a little more, just to show my appreciation. Please take this, 999 coins. Oh, yeah. Boy, thanks for everything. Now you have some capital to start your own venture. Just don't let your dreams die, Mario. I know you'll make it someday, just like I did. And also, I uh, kept a journal on my trip. Do you want to read it? Wow. Huh. I don't remember this. I'll just be the here thinking about what to do next, so say hi anytime. I don't remember that at all, actually. That's pretty cute. I, I like that a lot, actually. Alright. Darn, this title's misleading. We can't get to space yet. Huh? Oh. I thought it only happened when I stepped into the middle. So now I can go to... Uh, where was I? Oh, right. 
Is this the train or Poshley Heights? So it's Poshley Heights. That makes things way easier, dude. Oh, heck yeah. Beautiful. So, uh, oh, right. His house is back here because this is the museum. And then back another one because that's where you can buy that super overpriced pasta that I'm probably going to need for a bunch of stuff later. And here we go. Good day to you, Gonzalez. What can I do for you today? What's that you say? You must use the cannon in Far Outpost to save the world. Hmm. Well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well, then. I certainly owe you a favor or two, hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. Heh. <laughs> Your fucking mouth agape face for three whole seconds on screen. Uh, sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, just how much you, would you pay, if I may ask? I'll say 64 coins. That sounds good. 64 coins. You seem to be underestimating the value of my services. Well, I just can't abide that. Why don't you come back later, hmm? If you actually take all my money, I'm gonna fucking destroy you. I should've waited. I should've waited to take that 999 coins, because if he actually takes it all, I'm gonna lose my mind. Everything I have. What? You pay every coin you own. All of them. You were... really? So... really? Yes. Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know that means you'll be left with zero coins. With absolutely nothing? You know that, do you? I... I... don't like this. I'm... yes. I mean, think of it, man. If you spent all your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. Don't fucking... Am I gonna have to do some bullshit where I, like, buy a bunch of gold bars and then say all this crap to him? Yes. Okay. Alright, this is fucked, dude. Why is he fucking doing this to me? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. How much money did you have? I have 2,430 coins. This is too much. This is fucked. But hold on, I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure? Yeah... You won't say just kidding later on or any sort of tomfoolery like that. I... Uh... <laughs> stop! I can really take them all. Really? I really, really should have waited to take my investment earnings from that, from that oil drill guy. This is fucked. Yes, really. Well, all right then. Well, I may have to do some homework and replay this section. Um, after buying a bunch of gold bars and making sure I don't have a ton of fucking money in my pocket. Hmm, well, you've certainly shown me something, sir. 
So, I give my permission for you to activate the Far Outpost Cannon. You got Gold Bob's Pass. Gold Bob's are in permission to use the Far Outpost Cannon. Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How can I take your money? Ah, ha, 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 you fuck. It's a shame, I suppose, but I'll return your money. Ha, ha, ha. Fucking ass, dude. Now soldier on, my boy. God damn it. Uh, this fucking guy. Christ. The last time the game gave me a prompt like that, it game overed me as soon as I opened a diary. <laughs> Fuzzy fucking bee stinging my leg forever. Please. Autumn, Autumn, listen to me. Listen to me, Autumn. I can't do it, girl. I can't do it anymore, man. You've been stabbing the same part of my leg for the whole hour I've been streaming. I can't. I just can't, okay? You're gonna have to stab something else. Please, for the love of God. Uh, you just want attention because I'm streaming, isn't that it? As soon as I stop, you are gonna leave. You're, you're gonna leave and you're gonna pretend to hate me again oh my gosh oh wait where's general white though don't think he's in the road for it I don't remember seeing him since since he was sad in Petalburg. I think I remember him there. Hmm. All right. Uh, was he? No, I think he's... Oh, wait. This is the path to Schwank Fortress. Yeah. So, so he was up on a, god, it's, funnily enough, I come here all the time in my other save file because I'm doing a bunch of stuff with, um, no, this is the peach guy, but he, he usually stands right there. I'm playing the pa Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door a lot lately. Wasn't sure at first, but that game is awesome. I just beat it. Every chapter. Totally cool ending. I loved it. So worth the money. Think there'll be a sequel? Not. I hope they make a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, I bet that'd be awesome too. I feel this. I feel this small child. I'm with you. I'm with you, man. Hooktail's toast. I guess that's a good thing. Although, well, I've heard that Hooktail had lots of dragon friends. Yeah. I've heard they're all much, much meaner and more powerful than Hooktail. So what do you think? Shaken now or what? Ha, psych, served. So served. Um. Where? Where would he be, though? He was up on that ledge. That's the locals. Oh, you know who knows everything about this town? That old man. That's what they told me when I got here, so that'll probably still hold up.
going into your fireplace for no particular reason. Oh, well, I tried. Oh, if it isn't Murphy. Eh, what's that you say? General White. Hmm, General... Hmm, well... I'm certain I've seen him, but he doesn't seem to be around now. I think he may have possibly said he might head south to a more tropical locale. Creaky Key, was it? Uh, was that it? Yep. That's right, that's it, yeah. That, uh, that might, uh, possibly, perhaps, uh, could be it. Okay, off to Kill Hall Key, then. Thank goodness for these warp pipes. I would die. Of old age. And just think about this in the original game. You have to... Every time you want to beat the game, you have to go to Petal Meadows through the pipe after the blooper. The pipe after the blooper. Wow, I didn't think about that. Whoops. Hey, don't worry about me, boss. Thanks. Mad Preach. No. You're good, dude. Don't fret. Uh, I'm not I'm not worried about you. I just remembered. Um I will I will head over to Kill Hulky shortly. But I remembered that right over here, there's a bomb spot for Bobbery. Um and I can do this. Do the, do your thing. Yeah, excellent. I can pick this up. Da 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 da. Defend plus P. Excellent. And go over here and slowly make my way across this giant pipe. Very slowly, very carefully. And drop down here. Yeah. Oh, makes sense. Oh, this is cute. This is a cute little shack. Yeah. I can take a nap here. Let's roll up. I like how he actually weirdly rocks back and forth. Although that was kind of strange that that happens. That's really funny. It's so strange that he doesn't lose momentum. Like... It's like there's almost physics here, but not quite. He just keeps all of the momentum going. Until eventually he falls out. That's why that's a wild interaction. But neat. Now I know that. <laughs> He got some hella grip strength to hold onto those pipes, by the way, when he's jumping that fast. Then again, I guess he's also got some hella grip strength using that fucking hammer. Okay, cool. So, now, I, yeah, build infinite momentum in a cot. 
to launch all the way to the moon, dude. That is the move, honestly. Like, I don't know why, I don't know why we're not just doing that. That's the real way to get to the moon. I wonder if there are any practical applications for that, for getting around places. Probably not. There's very few sloped areas in this game at all. But, that'd be pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. What you got? Kara White. Yeah, he was here until a second ago. But he took off right quick. Said he was going to a city what floats in the sky or something. God damn it. Motherfucker. Oh, this is literally just gonna fuck me over back and forth forever. shouldn't have come here for the star or the I mean the shine sprite because uh huh wait who the hell am I supposed to talk to about this anyway maybe I'll go see Jolene um I guess I mean I don't I don't know. Oh yeah, how's my health and stuff while I'm here? Perfect. Is this not... Oh no, wait. Um, this is minor league. That's major league. This... Oh. R really? That's kind of fucked. Huh. I always thought there was a way to get into these areas. But I think I'm wrong. Well, if I can't enter unless I'm called by Miss Jolene, then like... What the hell? Where... Who the hell am I supposed to ask about this? Is it you? No. Is it you? Is it is it this guy? I don't. Do you see him? Oh, okay, it is you. General White. Oh, you must mean that white bob bomb, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time, but I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree. Or not. Okay, well. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. My god. Is there a weird, like, oh. It's the edge of this little platform here. Oh, gosh. guy's really giving me the run around here, man. I, I know... It's nice that they're labeled. Actually, I like that. In case you forget. It's, it's very, like... This game does feel like it's very forgiving to players that are forgetful. Is there anything out here, Miss Mouse? Okay. Uh, I guess I talked to the puny elder? That makes the most sense. What you got for me? Uh, yeah, puny elder. More scolding from the world's loudest grandma. When will it ever stop? 
Welcome to the Great Tree. Eh? General White? Yeah, he's an old bob bomb with this great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. Okay. Well, hey. We're knocking them out one by one. Eventually, there'll be no more chapters for him to not actually hide in. And in case you were wondering, yes, even if I remembered exactly where he was, um, I'm pretty sure you have to, like, because these scenes actually cut out the borders um, and are, like, scenes, um, I'm pretty sure you have to talk to each one in succession to, uh, to actually find him ever. Big rough, but, uh, but that's how it goes. Alright. Here we go. Time for you. Why, it's the savior of our town. It's Mario. Yes, actually, there was a General White around here for a little while. Curious fellow. Came here for a bit of rest, but still looked tired all the time. Then one day, he just up and left. I'm afraid I don't know where. He's mumbling something or other about a cannon. Yeah. Yeah. He wouldn't go to he wouldn't go to Poshley Heights because uh because we already had to go there for Gold Bob, so had to travel to travel through to through whatever we had to travel around all the chapters okay pop this bad boy open and then where do I go from here you jerk all right go um let's take them out yeah all right a thunder rage Sweet. That takes me to the pit. Shoot. I don't even really know exactly where I am. This will probably take me to where I need to go. Okay. But I still have to come from above and fall down onto that platform because I don't think there's a way to get up there outside of falling from this grate. Okay. Back to the cannon. Again. Huzzah. You know, there's something that I was unsure about, but I wanted to take a look. Wow, that's a lot of stuff I still don't have titled. That's wild, okay. Um, oh my gosh, what? Okay, uh, anyway. Parabuzzy. Um. I do have an Amazing Daisy titled, okay. That was the big thing I wanted to double check. Cause they're what rock hog. Damn. What a popular guy. Yeah, I just they're rare and I just wanted to make sure that I had seen one at some point. I do still want that partner power up badge. 
should have put someone else up front. Every time I forget to do it. It's gonna be the bane of my existence, man. Um, I'll just defend. Dang it. What? Ah, oh, come on, man. Keep thinking I've got it, but I definitely do not. Um. Actually, switch to Miss Mouse. 10 FP. Okay, it's 10 FP for 10 HP. Ugh. I've learned nothing. I wouldn't exactly call it worth it. But uh, you just had to go right in front of me, huh? You ass. Get wrecked. Um, okay. Bella. Classic. Okay, what do I want to do here? Um, hmm. Okay, all right. I think I've got. I think I've got the plan. I think I've got the play. Drop a hot power lift. Sweet, I'm down. That ain't bad. And then... Power Shell. Oh, baby, 11 to everybody. That was sick. Hell yeah. Fucking 44 damage of a turn from my boy Coops. Okay, he's probably in that one sad looking house that no one was in beforehand. Which goes to further prove my point of I'm, yeah, you're unable to find him unless you go through the other ones. Yep. Uh, he's getting folded. Doesn't waking a sleeping person make you feel bad? Bobber, you'll be better at this. Definitely still asleep. Try again. Still sawing logs. Try again. He couldn't be more asleep. Try again. He's <laughs> counting sheep. Try again. Oh my god. He woke. Nah, still asleep. Try again. <laughs> Oh my, sleeping like a stashed baby, trying it. This is insane. <laughs> He's not even budging. Try again. 
<laughs> He's still snoring away. Try one more time. Oh, different line. Dude, that was me and the hat man. Dude can sleep through a nuke. Hell yeah, he can. Now, who are you? I'm tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep as it is all hopeless. Hut. That mustache. That hat. And that hammer, even. Hut, hut. I have been looking everywhere for you. Why? Well, to bring Big Bob back online. I had lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then the rogue port fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the M on his hat, the one with the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams. Or something like that. Hut. You need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip hip hurrah! That fortune teller was right! So what are we waiting for? I shall get Big Bob ready, so go tell the mayor! Now get moving! Hut hut! Hell yeah, General White. The old boy should be... The old boy should be told it was us who looked everywhere for him. Yeah, for real. A two-way street there, really. Oh ho, you got permission to use the cannon. Must mean you met up with Gold Bob. What? General White is back, too? Then it is now time for Big Bob's grand revival. I could just explode with delight. Now let us shoot you guys to moon. We've done it, old boy. Now, you follow me. Hurry on now. This way, this way. Alright. Always smack the save blocks. Hell yeah. Okay. Now, you stand here. Uh, okay. Alright. General White, is Big Bob ready? Hut, leave it to me. Now, man, you know the drill. Load Big Bob. Hut, boom. Now, positions, everyone. Oh my god. Bring guidance system online. Online, sir. Online, sir. System check. System check. All clear. Prepare Big Bob's detonation sequence. Open outer hatch. Opening hatch, sir. Good God! Open inner shutters. Opening shutters, sir. How did I fall through all this? Lift Big Bob into the position. Lifting, sir. Whoa! Ho ho! Good fucking god! That's sick! Acquire target! The moon! Direction 75.38, elevation 54.66, range 389603. Do I have to move it? No. Okay. Wind speed 1.08. Correct direction 3.03. .03. Correct elevation 2.39. Target locked. Now, open the chamber hatch. 
Now, everyone in. Holy sh... It's crowded in here, boom. Stop pushing, Bazoom. Close chamber hatch. You're on my foot. It's tight in here. Get nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. You don't even have necks. What? Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time. Big Bob Cannon. Fire! <laughs> Yahoo! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Good luck, Mario. That was fucking baller. Yeah. <laughs> you just wiggle a little bit every time you hit the A button. And unless you hit it fast enough, you don't even start coming out of the ground. Dude. Yeah, I just happened. Oh, so I can say. Oh, the. Well, that just happened. <laughs> He fucking throws his spear out and right. Uh, I'm playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, and one of the characters throws his spear and then jumps on it and sails off on it like a surfboard into the sky. Like, flies off of it like a surfboard into the sky. And one of your characters is just like, Well, that just happened. <laughs> it's like the dumbest shit. I love that comedy, man. Uh, huh. Well, that was a rather bumpy trip, what what? Who would have guessed I'd get to do such a thing? Well, old boy, we're really on the moon by Crabbery. So, what say ya? Should we find the last crystal stars and save Peach, huh? Oh. Oh! You move a little slower on the moon. It's almost like an underwater feeling. I don't have room for that stopwatch. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna munch. Wait, wait. I'll munch uh, maple syrup, actually. It'll be more helpful for me. I know, that is such a good scene. Star piece? No, okay. Um, let's see. This definitely feels like there'd be a lot of hidden stuff here, but also it's kind of hard to walk. I hope you're not just another item. Whoops. Definitely close enough. What? Nothing. Danger rock. Boom. Oh my god, it's banger after banger over here. Fuck! Perhaps 
absolutely banging. Oh, this section. God damn, I love it. Ah. Uh, so good. Bella first. Tattle on this. That's a moon cleft. It's your basic cleft living on the moon. Max HP is 6, attacks 5, and defense 5. Defense is high as usual, and fire attacks don't work against it. If you can turn it over with an explosion, though, its defense goes down to 0. Okay. So I need an explosion. Whoa, that was my best. That was my best ever power jump, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Oh, wait. It's really late on these guys. It's really late. I gotta keep that in mind. I know. There's so much good music, dude. Ah, oh, sick. All right. Now he's easy. Piece? No? Okay. Oh crap. Oh well. I don't do much damage. I, I do I do one damage per hop with my jump, so Mad hops though, that's right. Well, once again. Plenty of time to practice super guards, I guess. There we go. Yeah. Those are super light. Six, so I'll be two off from a level. And then I can take off. I like how the coins just go up and like are super extra floaty. Um Listen, I I, I gotta look at it. How how good did I actually do? Nine continuous jumps! That's pretty fucking good for me, alright? <laughs> like I know there's people out there who get, like, just insane numbers on that shit, but nine is pretty fucking good. I will absolutely take that all day. I really ought to try and, uh, hit him with the bomb first thing just so that they'll be flipped already. But I never think to use partner moves to hit first for some reason. It's mostly just like, ah, oh, Mario's here. He jumps on them. That's, well, that was dumb, but it's fine. He doesn't have any defense anyway. All right, and now I level and I can put that, uh, Power up, Eon. Because badge points, oh yeah.
Well, I'm just gonna eat the super mushroom then. I just leveled, no one needs it. Okay. Well, then I don't need it in my inventory. I'll take that though, actually. Ditch this. And now... I will put on another powerful SP. There we go. Excellent. Wait for it. Okay, hold on. Yeah, there it is. Excellent. Bomb first thing. Okay. We all have six health, actually. And Earth Tremor pierces defense. Earth Tremor's Earth Tremor's a good move here. I think this is I the way he jumps on that with the echoey woo-hoo is is kind of creepy actually that, that that threw me off a little bit there we go perfect I love how the background scrolls like that too that's pretty cool Ugh. Coins are actually a little hard to grab. Okay. What else is around here? Ah, oh, dang. Trying to set something up? I don't know. Hmm. Repeatedly tap A. All right. Let's see how this goes. There we go. All right. Easy peasy. Six damage. I suppose that also works. And I get a free full restore on my MP from them. Perfect. <laughs> All right, I'll blow up this rock and then we'll move on to the next screen. I, I don't really like Volt Shrooms though. Especially not since I've got Zap Tap. Yes, I know. I'm sorry guys. I did a little bit of the Pitiful and Under Trials, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it for real. Um again. Uh I just wanted the extra inventory space. Because it's really helpful. I would rather keep a maple syrup in my inventory than a super mushroom. Okay. Oh gosh. Jeez, dude. Are there enough of you assholes around everywhere? Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Art attack. That was bad. That was also bad, but you know what? Screw it. I don't need that item. 
not a bad item for here, but just like, just, yeah, I, I don't need it. Okay. Yeah, just take him out, dude. Now I have enough for another Earth Tremor. So many moon clefts. Just an asinine amount of moon clefts, really. I'm sure there's more items on, like, all these areas. But, like, there's so many moon clefts. It's ridiculous. <gasps> Aha! Now we're getting somewhere, though. Now we're getting somewhere. A pow block. I've got plenty, plenty of pow blocks. I could just use a quake hammer. You are an ass. Fucking strike for... Strike that first, you jackass. Ah. You know what? That didn't even count as it getting a first strike. It was just a projectile that immediately did damage to me outside of battle. That's fucked. All right, Goombella. What you got on it? It's a Z yux. Z yux. It's a genetic improvement on the original Yux. Max HP is 7, attacks 4, and defense is 0. Multiple mini Z Yux will appear to protect the main unit, as you'd expect. Sometimes they also restore HP to the main unit, which really burns me up. It doesn't have much HP, but those barriers often protect it from attacks. Do... Do I have to see the mini? Ah, oh, dang. Do I have to tattle on the mini now? It looks like I do. That's a mini ZX. It lives to protect the ZX. There can be as many as four. Max HP is two and defense is zero. Seems like they won't attack directly. However, if you don't clear these guys out, you'll never be able to attack the ZX. Using a multiple strike attack to take them out all at once is a totally good idea. I mean, I respect them for protecting their whatever, but they get no mercy. Uh, okay, fine. There we go. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Actually, tattled on the regular mini yuxes now. Pretty curious on that. Yux, yux, yux. Where are you? Oh, good, I did. I'm so smart. Base hops for days, dog. Uh, if you're not a star piece, I don't want you right now, man. This way, though. Oh, does the screen just end here? Because technically you'd be able to walk around the full surface of the moon on this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Had to wall it off somehow, so I guess the end of the screen was as good a place as any to get it walled off. Huh. 
I thought it would just force me in. No, it's just an enter button. Okay. That works. Triple question mark. What an interesting area. Yeah. Rather suspicious building, wouldn't you say, old boy? Do be careful, eh? This is fun. I like this. Oh no! I'm going down the wrong escalator! Huzzah! Go, Yoshi! Dude, Yoshi fucking moves up the down escalator even. Whew! That's sick. Alright, I'm done playing around on the escalators. <laughs> Who's that, dude? Whoa, that's Mario! So, let, let's get him? <laughs> yeah, let's get him, dude! <laughs> Can't flee, alright. Bella, you know what to do. That's an elite x knot. This guy is the creme de la creme of the x knots. Max HP is 10, attacks 5, and defense is 1. He'll use regular attacks as well as boosting his power or size. Elite x knots are tough, but you just have to smack away until they go down. Smack away, huh? You got it. They went down. Or at least one of them did. Oh yeah. We're all set. Yeah. Mario, if these X, X not dweebs are here, that's totally it. And then Princess Peach must be here too, don't you think? And the Crystal Storm must be here too. We gotta find it, Mario. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, baby! Hold up! Unbelievable fucking jams in space, baby. Whoo, jeez. Can't handle all these jams. I am so all about all of this, man. Ah. Oh. Gosh. So good. All right. But actually, we are probably going to explore the X dot base in the next one. Um, it's getting a little late. I usually do these for like two hour episodes. But, uh, but damn, this was a fun one. It really showcased how they improved on the backtracking with adding that room that lets you just go to any of the areas you've been to already. That is a huge addition, um, which helps out tremendously for parts like these, where you don't need to backtrack to those areas. And, like, yeah, I love the music. Oh my gosh, the music in this one? Oh, I, I mean, I've been fucking fangirling over the music for a while, but like, this music, so...
so good. Oh. I I mean, I have the badge that lets you do, like, the GameCube music, um, the old school music again. Nostalgic tunes, but, like, I don't even want to put it on. You know what? This is still a banger, actually. This isn't too bad. You could definitely tell they fucking juiced it in the remake, though. Ugh. Yeah. I love that they made it a badge, too, that you could just for free turn it to whichever music you want. Um, but, like, yeah. Ugh. And it's so good on the music. All the quality of life features on this remake have been awesome. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's it for me for this one. Uh, catch you guys in the next one when we explore the x dot base and uh, destroy the moon or something like that. Later, dude.